Hey everyone, welcome back to Finance Homefront. Today, we're diving into exciting topics that's been making headlines in the cryptocurrency world. But first, thank you all for tuning in. If you're enjoying the content, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to stay updated on all things finance. Before we get started, a quick reminder, while we're exploring market trends and legal developments, I want to emphasize that I'm not a financial advisor. The information shared here is for educational purposes only. Now let's jump into today's discussion on the recent surge in cryptocurrencies and its implications. Let's go. As of July 2nd, cryptocurrencies surge, Bitcoin surpasses $63,000. The cryptocurrency market witnessed a substantial surge on Monday, July 1st, propelling Bitcoin prices above the landmark figure of $63,000. This rally extended across a broad spectrum of cryptocurrency stocks and Bitcoin exchange traded funds, ETFs, spurred by favorable legal developments. Specifically, a federal judge's decision on Friday to dismiss charges against the prominent exchange platform, Binance provided a significant boost to market sentiment. The catalyst for the week's early rally was a pivotal ruling from Judge Amy Jackson of the District Court for the District of Columbia. The judge's decision dismissed a portion of the Security and Exchange Commission's SEC lawsuit against Binance and its founder, Changpeng Zhao. This ruling primarily addressed allegations related to the secondary sales of unregistered securities involving Binance's BNB token and its Simple Earn program, as reported by Coindesk. Despite this favorable outcome for Binance, Judge Jackson allowed other charges to proceed including those pertaining to Binance's initial coin offering ICO, ongoing sales activities related to BNB, BNB Vault operations, and staking services. Notably, allegations of fraud and failure to appropriately register certain activities were also permitted to continue, underscoring the ongoing legal complexities faced by Binance in the regulatory landscape. The SEC initiated legal action against Binance in June 2023, alleging various violations including illegal operations within the United States through its affiliate Binance use and multiple breaches of securities regulations. These charges followed earlier legal proceedings in March 2023 by the Commodities Futures Trading Commission, which similarly accused Binance of violating trading and derivatives rules while functioning as an unregistered exchange. The favorable ruling in Binance's case was widely interpreted as a positive development for the broader cryptocurrency market. Matthew Seigel, head of digital assets research at Vanek, underscored the significance of Judge Jackson's decision, noting its resonance with previous legal precedents, such as Judge Annalisa Torres's ruling in a notable case involving Ripple Labs. Seigel highlighted the potential implications for future regulatory clarity, particularly in relation to proof-of-stake cryptocurrencies, a point of contention that has historically faced skepticism from regulatory bodies like the SEC. Moreover, Siegel pointed to the prospective listing of Ethereum-based ETFs, exchange-traded funds, as another optimistic indicator for the crypto market's evolution. Vanek, among other firms, had filed applications for Ether ETFs in late May, a step that had received initial regulatory approval pending further procedural steps. The legal landscape surrounding cryptocurrencies remained dynamic, as evidenced by ongoing litigation involving other major industry players. In a parallel case, the SEC filed a lawsuit against Coinbase in June 2023, alleging regulatory non-compliance related to registration requirements. Coinbase responded vigorously, initiating lawsuits of its own against the SEC and the Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation FDIC, citing failures to comply with Freedom of Information Act FOIA, requests. These lawsuits sought to obtain internal documents and communications pertinent to previous investigations and regulatory decisions impacting the digital asset industry. Elsewhere, the SEC pursued legal action against Consensus, alleging that the blockchain company operated as an unregistered broker through its MetaMask platform swaps and staking services. MetaMask, a widely used digital wallet for Ethereum and other blockchain assets, was central to the SEC's claims that consensus had accrued substantial fees improperly. The lawsuit also implicated other industry participants, including Lido and Rocket Pool, 
and similar allegations related to their staking programs being classified as securities. In a separate development, the SEC concluded an investigation into the status of Ethereum 2.0, determining that it did not qualify as a security. This decision represented a significant victory for consensus, which had earlier contested regulatory scrutiny by suing the SEC following a Wells notice received in April. Bitcoin's price performance on Monday underscored its resilience and continued bullish sentiment, trading above the $63,200 mark. This represented a modest increase of more than 2% over the preceding 24 hours. Bitcoin's year-to-date performance had been particularly robust, having surged by over 50% thus far in 2024. The cryptocurrency had previously achieved a record high of $73,798 on March 14th. Similarly, Ethereum exhibited strong performance, reaching $3,469 on Monday with a peak of $3,515 observed overnight. Despite a year-to-date increase of 51.7%, Ethereum's current trading levels remain below its 52-week peak of $4,092 recorded on March 12th. Among cryptocurrency-related equities, Coinbase saw a notable uptick of 5% on Monday, surpassing its 50-day moving average. Concurrently, spot Bitcoin ETFs such as the iShares Bitcoin Trust iBit, ARK21 Shares Bitcoin ETF RKB, and Vanek Bitcoin Trust HODL surged by nearly 5.5%, reflecting heightened investor interest in Bitcoin-related financial products. In the realm of cryptocurrency mining companies, Marathon Digital, Mara, and CleanSpark CLSK, led the charge with gains of 13.7% and 12.4%, respectively. Riot Platforms, Riot, followed with an 8.9% increase, trailed by Core Scientific, Cores, with a gain of 5.9%. HUT 8, HUT, registered a more modest increase of 1.7% on Monday. The cryptocurrency market's recent rally, fueled by favorable legal outcomes and investor optimism, underscored its resilience and growing institutional acceptance. While regulatory challenges persisted, notable developments in court rulings and regulatory approvals for financial products like ETFs suggested a maturing regulatory environment. As cryptocurrencies continued to evolve as a distinct asset class, market participants navigated a complex landscape defined by legal scrutiny, technological innovation, and shifting investor sentiment. Thanks for joining me today on Finance Homefront. It's clear that the cryptocurrency market is heating up with significant developments like the Binance ruling shaping investor sentiment. Remember, staying informed is key in this rapidly evolving space. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more updates. Until next time, take care and happy investing.